God is Love by me, Carolyn Henderson. With your reference point being from a place in the heart, the world before you is something quite spectacular to see, and all the beautiful things laid out for you to behold are a part of the dreams you once had that actually came to be. God is watching and listening and continuously creating, existing in every word of a sentence and every petal of a flower. God is as much a blade of grass as he is the miracle of a child. He is ever present in all the moments of each minute of every hour. Have you said your prayers today, acknowledging your blessings? Is your heart filled with gratitude, joy, and appreciation? I hope so, because what I have found out myself is that being thankful for the sunrise, the sunset, and everything in between is really a terrific sensation. Different as we may appear as people, just as flowers of the bouquet, we are designed to complement one another with our diversity. We know this in our hearts because when God speaks to us, we are encouraged to love and respect one another completely. In looking at one another through the lens of love, we are able to see fathomless goodness and beauty, to focus on what is virtuous and true and unique about each other makes for a remarkably spectacular and magical reality. I have learned about exceptional beauties coexisting peaceably from the flowers of my gardens and exquisite bouquets. Nature teaches me the marvelous things I need to know about humanity. By the grace of God, I've found my way to this place of loving serenity. There is peace amongst the flowers, for God's love is woven in to their leaves and petals and the infinite space in between. For all that surrounds us and everything that is within is even more remarkable than our eyes have ever seen. Next time you see the flowers all aglow in harmony together, like a symphony of colors that chimes in so perfectly, with every difference in likeness that you could possibly be aware of, happiness in life is found in mutual acceptance and relatability.
We are called upon by our angels to be the very best of ourselves in preparation for the great destiny of heaven above. Reminded by every lovely thing in our earthly existence that more than virtue and beauty and all that is noble, God is above all love. Keep God in your heart. Exist in the esteem of love.